with a swami I grew, a lot of people grew up watching him and he was just keith davis over in florence man did all kind of basketball games predicted football games with us as the swami and all that and got we a had, lot of young yeah, ladies that's max russell there max uh, came by the funeral today said hello and it was packed i mean the funeral home over there was packed that's lisa greer she stopped by too uh Said how they used to work beautiful. together at WYLE, yeah. tell, Channel 26, I think, what it was over in Florence. Yeah, yeah but Keith uh, <laughs> passed away the other day. We didn't show up for lunch at Stanfield. We knew something was wrong last Friday, so they found him uh, that morning. But we had his funeral Tuesday. It was cold, Barry. That, that's the shot way before I knew him. He had a microphone uh, in his pocket. Yeah, got a microphone there in his pocket. And as Kyle told you Tuesday up here, they interviewed Tim Tebow at SEC Media Days before Tim could even dry his hands at the men's room. <laughs> uh, but got the interview. We had a great, it was an honor to do the funeral for the, uh, his few relatives he's got over that way. And a lot of coaches were there, a lot of players. And it was just, uh, it was a, a time to laugh and cry, I guess, I guess you'd say. But uh, Gloria, we didn't videotape it, but Gloria did record some of the audio. But this ending, and the preacher told me, he said, I've never, all I told him, I said, I'm going to do something different at the end. Not said, you. I'm, I've never seen a standing ovation at the end of a funeral before. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take this, and we'll come right back. Y'all, this is the last minute and a half of Keith's funeral. We put it together with some pictures, and we just want to share it with you. Get over miles and rig and We'll go to the Petta Cemetery. I want you to imagine right now that we're not in here no We're in a basketball field. It's the county tournament. It's the last game. Crowd. It's over. Game on. With the barn burn. <laughs> They're doing the awards. They bring Keith out to center stage in a court. They give him a lifetime achievement award for being the best and truest friend that any of us could ever have from someone who never asked for so much, never asked for anything. But at the same time he receives this award in this gym that we're now in, we're going to give him one thing now that he never got while he was with us. And that's the state of innovation. Standing ovation at a funeral. Yeah, a standing ovation at a funeral. That's all I do. Yeah, I say totally unexpected, but true is so good. No one ever deserved more of a standing ovation. And then everybody came up to you and said, Man, we should have done that while he was alive. And then the, oh, what's know. amazing is we heard from people like Angie yesterday, uh, what was it, Cartwright? Yeah. So, Albright. Albright, yeah. Angie Albright said, my daughter came in. She's like 19, like 18. Mm -hmm. I said, Mom, if something ever happens to me, that's the way I want my funeral to be, a celebration of life. She said, I ain't never seen a funeral <laughs> like that before. Yeah. So, but anyway, so good luck, Keith. You're at the Super Bowl now. <laughs> you with your mama and daddy and, hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go. All right. We talked about Mannigans a while ago. Uh, well, they got some mannequins. I won't even mention what they got, but the newer ones now. It says here, studies show that mannequins matter when shoppers make buying decisions. 42% of customers recently polled by a research firm said something on a mannequin influenced whether they buy it or not. I, I have taken clothes off of a mannequin before because it was the only, the last one there, and I wanted it. I'm going to come out of a closet and tell you something. Really? Again? <laughs> Some of them mannequins <laughs> at Victoria's Secret. You want to leave with? <laughs> I feel like fondle them. <laughs> you ever seen them, Roy? Yeah. They have some good-looking mannequins out there. Uh, it says, now mannequins now are getting thicker waist, bigger breast, more and uh, back fat to mimic a more realistic shape. Yeah. Which I can see that. And they're also so putting how tattoos on mannequins. Well, I don't know about the tattoos, yeah. but... <laughs> they're giving them breast, hair... Yeah. Wow. Everywhere. Wow. They're the silent salespeople. No. So maybe I'll just get a mannequin to ride around me and I can think it's Keith now. They can just sit over there and just ride around. We'll That's leave them so at Stanfield. <laughs> Mannequins, yeah, I mean, uh, all right, but all the Wasn't snow. Wasn't there a Seinfeld episode of that? No. Huh? Wasn't yeah. there a Seinfeld episode of that? Oh, let me give a shout out. Yeah. Car with him. <laughs> yeah. Let me give a shout out to Dan Williams. It says here in the paper this morning, mm -hmm. Dan Williams, you know, they're down in Montgomery there in session. Oh, he was sick. one of 40 people out of 105 House members who made it to the State House yesterday to work. 
Wow. Down in Montgomery. Way to go, we Dan. give a shout out to them. We ran into he and uh, Senator Hosclaw over at the um, Eli Williams, Eli Williams thing over there. Roy, as always, man, I hope this bad weather's out here. You know, that's affected a lot of stores doing oh, business, a lot too. Of business. People yeah, ain't getting out. You know, what's amazing is we've. Uh, well, we've held our own and done even better than we expected. So thank y'all all, all for showing up and coming by and for New trusting us with your health. Right. Coming up tomorrow on the show, it's rodeo time over in Huntsville. Mike Winworth.